Hello. So I am going to make my pancake from scratch from now on because I used an app uh, that pretty much tell, identifies bad ingredients in certain um, pancakes uh, sold at healthy uh, stores. Um, I'm not going to say that it's this one. I'm not going to say that's this one bought at Aldi's, which they're actually brothers. The owners are brothers. Um, I'm not going to say that you draw your own conclusion. Okay. So I'm going to remove these two boxes. I just wanted to illustrate that even health stores or bargain stores or stores with good reputations, they're still trying to sell you stuff. And there are additives that I guess in order to preserve things would be added. That is not healthy. Okay. So you could disregard this. This is just going to be a tub I, I, re I reuse my containers and I'm just going to use, uh, this tub here. Um, oh boy, I forgot to do it before the video. So what I do is, uh, I've used this lots. I'm not going to order any more of it. I'm back to milk, but it's definitely actually a good alternative for when there is, uh, I know my sleeves and all that, right? Well, anyway, uh, I'm going to fill it up in the smaller one and I'm going to use this larger one to fill it with pancake mix. I'm going to make my own pancake mix. Okay. So, uh, let me just pause this for a minute. Okay. So just so you know, I don't get royalties for any of these brands. Uh, this is really, uh, a tester brand that I'm using. I actually order organic, um, uh, sprouted flour, but this is better than what most people buy. It's unbleached. Um, I'd hate to scan it to see what, what in it, it may or may not be bad, but this is going to be the tub where I'm going to make uh, plenty of, um, household pancake. I'm not going to store it in a box. I'm just going to store it in there. Okay. So I am going to add a little sugar. I don't really use sugar. Uh, just so you know, these are the sweetener brands that I use, um, this more so, uh, than this, because this is sort of like, like powdered sugar type of consistency. Okay. I'm trying to stay away from sugar. I'm not saying I don't because I, uh, I go out and get some ice cream. Um, but at least I have it a little more under control than I used to. Okay. And, uh, so... I have in my prepared uh, shells uh, some sugar from before I stopped using sugar, but I, I truly haven't totally stopped. Uh, just in my coffee, I use the other stuff. I don't reach out to this anymore, but if you're going to use it, I think this is probably one of the better brands. I did buy it at Walmart. Um, okay, so I'm going to get, let me see how many cups. I'm going to mix just prepare mix. That's all, right? I'm getting this from a chef, by the way. So here we go with baking soda. And now I need the baking powder. So that may be. And here it is. Okay. It's baking powder and baking soda and sugar. Those are the ingredients, okay? So now um, I'm going to be adding to the sifter. You're going to see my sleeves. You won't see me because I have to my hair. But let me bring this a lot closer so I don't dirty mantle. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to add, it's supposed to be three cups. And I'm not, I don't have my measuring cup. Uh, I brought this out to use it because I can't find my measuring cup. So, you know, for your sake, I say one cup. Oh, it's taking a long time. Maybe I should have had it filled up before starting the video. Okay. So I'm going to sift this. Ooh. And let me bring this up here. Okay. So I'm going to freeze this for a second. I'll be right back. So for argument's sake, maybe I'll use six cups of this, which is going to keep me a little busy. So I'll be right back as I fill it up with six of those cups that you see right there.
But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sift. Let's see if this gets here. Yeah, it's actually perfect. I'm going to, let's see, you can't really see that very well. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to pour some in the sifter. And I'm not sure, maybe you may want to sift it before or after, but this is what I'm doing. I'm going to sift it down. And I'm going to do this six times. Stay tuned. So I've decided to just sift it here and just uh, use the funnel to get it in there. That's the whole purpose of having both out. This has a wider mouth and it's better. Okay. So this is the first cup and I'll be right back to you in a second when I'm done with all. Uh, I'm going to double uh, my ingredients. I'm going to make six cups. Is it? Okay, so uh, I got this from uh, a chef in Epicurious, which is actually a channel on YouTube. And uh, he did not sift it. I sifted everything. Uh, why not be uh, a little careful, right? So this is already three cups. And I'm a single person, so quite frankly, I think I'm going to stick to the recipe of three cups instead of making it six. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to funnel this in here right and then i'm going to measure this i want to measure you know the baking powder baking soda and the, and the sugar which is minimal i may want to put some pumpkin spice in it because i do like pumpkin um uh maybe i'll take a portion of it after i've mixed it um i could always put the the pumpkin spice after and just before uh making a pancake right now i'm just preparing this for storage uh for the near future not not the very late future uh, so stay tuned. Um, let me now work on funneling this through. And it's going to create a mess. So who knows how it's going to come out? I could use this, but I mean, this is better than, than, than a smaller one. Uh, so let me commence with Doing that. I'd really love to just pour it. Um, it would be great, quite frankly. Uh, how am I going to do this messy thing? I don't know. Okay, but I'm going to start. I'm going to take the sweater off so at least I'll, I'll appear like I have a decent shirt on. Oh. Okay, so now I'm really going to just pour this here because I could always mix everything in. Uh, I don't like this funnel. I'm not crazy about the funnel. I'm not crazy about the funnel. I'm going to invent something. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to create a much bigger funnel using uh, one of my collections, right? Container collections. I'm just going to cut off the bottom and it's going to fit right here perfectly. See? And I'm going to just pour it on because this mouth is bigger than this one. I mean, not by a long shot, quite frankly. Not by a long shot. So I'm not gonna make this into a funnel because it's not really much bigger, uh, comparatively speaking. Uh, <laughs> I'm always looking for shortcuts, aren't I? Okay, so I'm just going to do it the gold, good old fashioned way. It's not gonna take that long. It's got a big mouth and it'll be done in no time. Now, I don't have to empty out the bowl. I just want to make room for the other stuff, okay? So this is three, three, three cups. I have sifted it, although it doesn't call for the recipe uh, from the channel I got this from. Uh, but to me, it doesn't hurt, right? It does not hurt. Okay. So this is filled to here, okay? I don't eat pancakes that often, but at least now it's going to be better than what I've been the store bought because even the most reliable stores and packages uh, have toxic stuff in it. And I'm going to show you a picture of what the result of my app. I'm going to tell you what app I use to do this, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, so one quarter cup sugar is what this calls for. 
not a whole lot. And again, I can't find my measuring cup because I packed up a lot of stuff and sent it to storage. So, I mean, actually, I'm, I'm putting half. It's supposed to be a quarter cup. This is up to here. Uh, it's a little more. What the heck, okay? One quarter cup of sugar. Okay, so... Tablespoon. Let me. You know what? I'm not going for the measurements. You can do it, but at least I'm telling you uh, what I'm going to use. I'm just going to use a soup spoon for for um, a tablespoon. Okay, but you 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 do accordingly as you would. Okay. Okay, so this is one tablespoon, and it's going to be one and a half tablespoon. So more of the soda than of the powder, okay? One and a half. Okay, beautiful. All right, so that's all going in there and i already poured the sugar i've got these powders and uh, i'm gonna save uh any flavorings like pumpkin spice uh for when i'm ready to make my pancake or waffle and uh, similarly to the measurement for the baking soda uh is the same thing one and a half spoon of salt okay I'm using Redmond's real salt, which is a little on the expensive side, if you ask me. And it's pretty much pink, actually. I have Himalayan salt also. Okay, so that's one and a half tablespoon to me. Since I'm the one that's going to eat it, I'll pay the price if it's in inaccurate. Okay, so now we have everything mixed. Yet, yet, yet to mix. Hold on. So I'm not here to make a pancake with you. That's probably going to be another video. But even though I want to make waffles, maybe I'll complete it by making it. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to shake it up. Right. Just shake it up. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. 